What's going on you guys? Welcome back for another video. If you're new or passing by, I'm Jordan. What's up? What's good? Welcome to the channel. I'm so extremely appreciative to have you. You tuned into an awesome video like for your first video to watch because we're going to be talking today about how to manifest anything into your life that you currently desire, whether that is your dream house, a dream relationship, a new job, new friends. We're just going to be diving so much more into the law of attraction today and how I want to make you guys so, so aware that anything on a higher level or more success or a more positive relationship or a more positive family environment, anything your current reality is lacking and that you desire for yourself, you can have it. You are worth it. You are so, so valuable in this world and deserve to be living at your fullest potential. I think a lot of people don't necessarily go for their goals or dreams because there's something within them. There's some type of limiting belief holding them back to where they truly don't believe that they are worth having that success or that they're smart enough or talented enough or capable enough to reach all those goals, which all of you are. Anyone else around you that you see having a certain level of success, that is not just for them. That success is open for anyone to take and grab. If you are willing to work hard and hustle and you can also implement the law of attraction and positive thinking and manifesting what you want into your reality, you can have everything. I know because I have done it. My current job that I have with YouTube, I manifested into my reality for over four years. I would see it and visualize it in my mind, visualize it being my only job and the only thing I loved doing and was so passionate about and I got to wake up every day and do something I loved. I worked super hard at it consistently Consistently, and I'm on my fourth year and now this is what I get to wake up and do every day also with my new condo and my new car just anything that I feel like I've attained in life I'm so extremely passionate about sharing that knowledge with you guys so you can go out there and be so successful so if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and give this video a like this is part of my boss babe playlist so I'll have it all linked down below I have lots of other videos regarding saving money the law of attraction budgeting moving out for the first time any type of like girl boss videos I will have linked there down for you you. Link there down for you, girl. Linked, what am I trying to say? Linked in the down bar for you is what I meant. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into my top five tips to manifest absolutely anything that you want into your reality. And I'm also gonna go over a little bit about the 17 second rule by Abraham Hicks. All right, so tip number one is in addition to your positive affirmations, you have to feel exactly what it is that you are manifesting or wanting in addition to saying that out loud. So I know a lot of you are also on a weight loss journey like myself, and I've said in multiple other videos, if you truly want to lose weight or get to your desired goal weight or feel, thinner and healthier to look in the mirror and verbally say every day, multiple times a day, whenever you get the chance, I am thin and fit and healthy. My body runs well, you know, like all my joints are working. I'm so blessed that my body is physically able to move enough and that I'm able to have the luxury to work out. You have to speak what you want into your reality, but you need to be saying the words, I am. Don't say I want to be fit or I want to be healthy because then you're telling the universe there's a lack of something, right? You're acknowledging that you are not at that goal yet, but when you actually speak in the future tense, as in I am fit, I am healthy, then you are attracting those things to come to you. The sooner you can say, what your goal is, you can act like you already have it and already possess it and truly, truly feel in your heart and in your mind that what you're saying is true, that goal will come to you so much quicker. There's a huge, huge difference between looking in the mirror and saying, I'm fit and healthy, I'm fit and healthy, I'm fit and healthy, just because you think you have to say it and you think those positive affirmations will get you to your goal, but deep at your core, if you still think that you're overweight or you're fat or you're ugly, that goal is not going to come to you. You truly do have to feel and believe what you are saying is true. You have to ask yourself, how am I gonna feel when I reach that end goal? And you have to start feeling that way now. They say you have to get on that vibration and on that level of how amazing you're gonna feel once you really do attain that goal, Try to have yourself feel like that now. Every morning when you wake up and you manifest that dream body in your mind and you say out loud, I am fit and healthy, I am fit and healthy, I got this, I'm gonna work out today, I'm gonna you know, eat properly, you truly have to feel it in addition to saying it. So make sure when you're doing your positive affirmations that you also truly feel it deep within your gut. All right, so the second thing is extremely important in the law of attraction, you need to be specific about what you are manifesting. If you're not specific down to every last detail, you don't get anything because the universe doesn't know what to give you. So say every day you're waking up and you're trying to manifest more money or a new position at work and you just say out loud, I want more money, I want more money. 
well, what does more mean? Does it mean $5 more? Does it mean, you know, a raise of two or $3 an hour? Does it mean an extra 20 grand a year? You're being super vague by saying more. In the book, The Secret, and also The Power and the Magic, which are all by Rhonda Byrne, all incredible, she talks about when people manifest goals and they are so specific down to every last detail, you're telling the universe you know exactly what you want, so it knows exactly what to bring you. So if you're manifesting the perfect husband, the perfect partner, whatever it is, right down all the personality traits you'd like that person to have if there's anything specific um, also again when manifesting a new job don't just say I want a better job because what is better who is gonna determine what the word better means that's super vague you need to write down on paper and on your vision board by January 1st I will attain this management position for this exact salary like be specific down to every last detail and then you'll be able to get delivered exactly what you're asking for all right, so the third tip is to stop focusing on what you don't want and focus on what you do want. This is one that you can kind of be doing without noticing it. Some of you may not even realize that you're doing this on a daily basis, but this may be why you're not attracting exactly what you truly want. I hear people do this all the time. I don't even realize it because it might just be a, such a habit. But for example, when you're manifesting, say, the perfect partner, People say all the time out loud, oh, I don't want someone who's ugly, or I don't want someone who's fat, or who doesn't have this, this, and this. I don't want someone who's a cheater like my ex. What words did you just say out loud? Ugly, fat, cheater. Anything that you say out loud and what you visualize in your mind is what the universe is going to bring you. So by you not even realizing it, by you saying all those words out loud, like that's exactly what the universe is bringing you back. Instead of focusing on the list of things that you don't want, even though you might know in your mind what you don't want, and that's fine, but don't say that stuff out loud. Instead, wake up every day and say, I am manifesting my perfect partner, my perfect husband, who is honest, mature, loyal, who loves me so much, and I am so ready to give that love back to them. Speak only positively with your affirmations. That's why they're called positive affirmations. Try to just as best you can, even if it's a habit, try to just not say like, I don't want someone who's just gonna cheat on me or who's a player. Because those exact words, and if you focus so much on that, that's just exactly what you're going to get. Any single thing that comes out of your mouth or that you constantly visualize in your mind is what shows up in your reality. It's proven. My fourth tip to manifest whatever you want into your life effortlessly is to let go. It says very, very clearly in the book, The Secret, again by Rhonda Byrne, incredible read if you have never read it. It says that you need to do everything like manifesting and your positive affirmations and your vision board and everything like that. You need to be so, so focused on that goal and that desire that you truly want, but you do not need to worry about how it is going to come to you. That is not up to you. The people and the places and the job and the manager, people will make a way and the universe will make a way for that goal to come to you when you are on that vibration and when you are truly ready in your life to receive that want or desire. All you need to do is truly believe in your heart and in your mind that your want or desire or goal is coming to you. It will all come to you in the perfect timing. Do not stress out about how it will get there or who will move out so you can move into your new place or who's gonna get fired so you can move up to that management position. None of that is your job to worry about. With the law of attraction, it just states that you need to be focused so heavily on your goal in your mind, manifesting daily, multiple times a day, and truly believing that what you want will come to you and then when everything aligns perfectly, at the right time, it will. So my fifth tip is to eliminate the doubt. The law of attraction states super, super clearly that if you even have a slither or a shadow of doubt in your mind about the fact that you may possibly reach your goal or you might get there or you really wanna be thin and fit and healthy but you truly don't believe deep within you that you have the stamina or the motivation to you know, continue on your weight loss journey and you just kinda think you're gonna get there or you like 80% believe in yourself, it is not going to happen. In your mind and in your heart, like I said, with your positive affirmations, what you say out loud, you have to truly believe it. You need to get to the place where you value yourself so much and you know that you deserve a better reality and you're going to get that for yourself no matter what it takes. Say for example, it's a new car that you want and you see a Mercedes or a BMW that you would like to have, but you think in your mind, oh, I could never afford that. That car is priced way too high. There's no way I could ever afford that payment then you won't. There, it's not gonna come to you or something like that will not manifest into your life if you are putting those limiting beliefs in your mind. If you're saying the words, I can't, I can't afford that, I'm not strong enough, I'm not educated enough, get all that shit out of your vocabulary. You being so negative is only holding yourself back from reaching your full potential. Instead, drive by that car and be like, I can afford that, I'll get another job, or maybe I'll find one that is being sold used. You could easily come up on like a relative or something on Facebook or whatever 
different. The universe works in such mysterious ways, you have no idea. If you would say drive by that dream Mercedes and in your mind you're like, I'll have that one day, and you truly believe it, and you work hard at your job, say you have multiple jobs, or you know, like I said, the how of how the car is going to come to you is not your job. All you have to do is truly believe that if you put in the work with the manifesting and the positive affirmations and truly believing that you are worthy and able to get something of that caliber, like that super nice car, the universe will find a way to make it happen. So stop being super negative, stop telling yourself, I don't have the money for that, or that's too high quality for me, or like that perfect person you wanna manifest, oh, they're too attractive, like I'm not even on their level, I can't get them. The more you say that stuff, the more you will not attract any of the stuff that you truly want because you are limiting yourself, you're being negative, you're being down on yourself, you're literally saying, you are not good enough of a person or you are not qualified enough to get all that stuff that's at a higher level in life. And that is so, so untrue. Everyone that you see around you with super cool jobs who are CEOs driving like banging cars, they're in an incredible, amazing relationship. Those people are no smarter, no more educated, no more talented than you are. We all have that drive and that hustle and that motivation deep within us if we would just be willing to realize that we are worthy of that type of life. The only difference between those people and you is that they decided to go for it and they believe in themselves. They don't limit themselves. They don't talk down to themselves. So for me, that has been a huge one, especially with my weight loss journey. I would constantly, I used to constantly say, I'm fat or I am so overweight or I am so unhappy with the way I look. I'm not confident and all those things are negative. So what did I attract more of into my life? I just kept on attracting a lot more negative vibes. I kept on eating shitty food. Trust me, you guys, throw that negative talk in the trash. You don't need it, it's bullshit. It will limit you, it will not help you reach your full potential. Just get rid of that and watch how quickly your reality changes and how much happier you notice that you are. All right, so in addition to those kind of five key tips about manifesting that I currently use and practice and have seen work, I wanted to share with you guys the 17 second rule by Abraham Hicks. If you already follow the law of attraction or practice it in your current life, I'm sure you already know about this. I wanted to pull up the exact definition because it's really, um, like long and educational so you guys can understand it in the best way possible. Basically, you want to focus your mind and your manifesting for a total of 17 seconds with no other outside sources coming in. You wanna sit there and close your eyes and be fully focused for those 17 seconds straight on your want or your goal or your desire, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life. And then you'll basically do that in little 17 second increments. And the more you do it, the more powerful it is. And you're able to reach your goal or your desire so, so much faster. Um, it's actually a lot more intricate than that. And it's actually like way more amazing than I could even ever explain it. So I just wanted to pull this up. All right, his definition says, why 17 seconds? Abraham says that a thought reaches a combustion point at 17 seconds of pure undiluted focus. Like I said, when you're manifesting that goal or that dream or whatever it is you're trying to attract and you close your eyes and you truly feel it, it has to be pure focus. You're only thinking about your goal. You cannot let any other thoughts or anything else come into your mind. It's very specific that you must only be focused on that one thing, which is what makes it so powerful. It draws another thought to it and it is exponentially more powerful. At the end of another 17 seconds, 34 seconds total, the next thought combusts and by the law of attraction evolves to a higher level of energy. Again, another 17 seconds to 51 seconds continues the process. And finally, if you can continue a pure thought for 68 seconds on any given subject, it will be on its way to manifestation. The key word is pure, meaning positive focus, strong energy, no resistance to not slip into sloppy thinking. So set your timer for 17 seconds, close your eyes. Again, say it's a dream husband or that dream car, your dream job. Have only that one thought in your mind. Be so laser focused on it even just for that short, short amount of time, that 17 seconds, and then as you get better at it, and by you being so incredibly focused on your goal without letting any outside thoughts or any negativity in, and like he said, you are truly focused and believe that goal will come to you, it will come to you so much faster. So yeah, definitely look that up, you guys. Look up all the in-depth description about that rule and research Abraham Hicks. If you're really into the law of attraction, there's so many proven success stories, which is so, so cool and extremely motivating, and it will want to get you guys to try it out for yourself because you're like, oh my God, like you see all these people having success and then you're like, I can do that too. 
Like I said, the first step is believing in your mind that you truly can do it and you truly can attract what you want. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know this is a topic I am personally so passionate about. I wanna thank you guys for just coming back and supporting me on another video. I appreciate you more than you know. I would love to have you subscribe. Also, if you wanna check out my other Boss Babe videos just about saving money, bettering your credit, being a young entrepreneur, anything like that that I can help you with, I would be so honored to be a resource for you guys. I will link all those down below. And what else? I always feel like there's something else at the end of the videos. Oh, my ebook, I did have on sale for Black Friday and for Cyber Monday. Um, I figure it's good to talk about in this video because it, it relates to the exact same thing. My ebook goes way more into the law of attraction and I share a lot of my success stories about manifesting things into my own reality and just helping you guys with it. And I wanted to thank you because I had so much incredible support on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I had more support on my ebook than I even had on the launch week of it, which was like three months ago. So many of you have got your hands on it. I also went through Twitter and picked 15 of you guys to send it to this weekend at no cost, just for a little holiday gift because I see so many of you constantly supporting me and I wanna make sure you know how appreciative I am. I got multiple messages from you guys that you know, you want to be a boss babe or an entrepreneur, but money is tight during the holidays or whatever it may be. So I got a bunch of your emails and I sent that to you. So that just made me like so incredibly happy as well to give that back. I know that's like a very little thing I can do for you guys. That's like nothing to even thank you for all the support you've given me. But I'm going to continue to do that throughout the holiday season on a bunch of my videos. I'm just going to pick like some subscribers to send that out to. So be sure you're giving the videos a like and that you are subscribed. I would really appreciate it if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm also doing two huge holiday makeup giveaways if you're interested in that. And I think that's it. I know that was real chatty, real rambly, long video. What's good though? It's me, nothing new. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Please subscribe here to my channel and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.